Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about George the Gerbil. His letter is G. G with a line reads J, J, J. And we will learn that gerbil reads J, J, J. Now listen for the J sound in our story. Here we go. George Gerbil was a giant gerbil. Mm -hmm. Among all other gerbils, you would always see George Gerbil. His head stuck up above all the others when the gerbils lined up to play a game. Though George Gerbil was a rather gigantic gerbil, he had a very nice disposition. In fact, George Gerbil was such a quiet and patient gerbil that everyone said to him, Come on, George Gerbil, stand up for yourself. Don't be so patient. Still, George Gerbil was patient. He knew it was right. One day, a huge fudge truck came to town. It seemed to have enough fudge for everybody in the whole state. You have never seen so much fudge in your life. There was carob fudge, white fudge, caramel fudge, and peanut butter fudge. All the little gerbils gathered around until you could hardly see the fudge truck because of those little gerbils. A man with jolly red cheeks and shiny blue eyes jumped out of the fudge truck. Come on, little gerbils, you will have to budge a bit or I will never be able to get the door of the fudge truck open. I want to buy some fudge, said one little gerbil. Of course you do, said the fudge man. You shall have some fudge too. But first, you will have to wait until the fudge judge has tasted all the fudge. Then I will sell the fudge. Well, about that time, a wrinkled, cross-looking, aged man in a blue suit came out of his little brown house. There's the fudge judge now, said the man with the fudge truck. Let's see what he thinks about our fudge. All the gerbils gathered closer. All but George Gerbil, that is. He stood back politely and let everyone else get in front of him. Come on, George Gerbil, his friends cried. You won't get any fudge if you just stand here. Come on. George Gerbil would not move, though. He would not shove, and he would not budge. George Gerbil just stood patiently, as he always did. First, said the fudge truck man to the fudge judge, I want you to try our beautiful carob fudge. He cut off a nice chunk and he handed it to the fudge judge. All the little turtles' mouths began to water. Mm, what delicious looking fudge. The fudge judge made an unpleasant face as he tasted the carob fudge. That fudge is, mm, no, I'd say it is medium soft. I never did care much for carob fudge. The little gerbils couldn't believe it. How could anyone taste such delicious looking fudge and make such a face? The gerbils pressed in closer, smelling the good smells of that carob fudge. Now, sir, said the fudge truck man to the fudge judge, here is some of our famous peanut butter fudge. 
The wrinkled little aged man opened his mouth and he popped in that delicious smelling square of peanut butter fudge. Ooh, it smelled luscious. Every little gerbil, except George Gerbil, that is, pressed closer to sniff the aroma of the peanut butter fudge. That fudge is just too sweet, said the fudge judge. Well, now try our wonderful white fudge judge, said the fudge truck man. And again, the wrinkled aged man made a face and tasted the fudge. Now that fudge, he said, thinking very seriously, it's too hard. By this time, the fudge man could hardly reach in his truck to get the caramel fudge because all the little gerbils were shoving so close. Well, all but George Gerbil, that is. George Gerbil still stood politely behind all of the other gerbils, even though his whiskers were jiggling because of the delicious fudge smells. Caramel fudge, asked the fudge judge. <laughs> I never could stand it personally. But, he continued, putting a large piece in his mouth. Oh, we'll judge it. All the gerbil eyes watched as the fudge judge tasted the fudge and frowned most furiously. That caramel fudge, said the fudge judge, will not do at all. It is much too sticky. Wow, he doesn't seem to like any of the fudge, does he? Let's see what happens. All the little gerbils looked at each other. How could all the fudge be either too soft, too sweet, too hard, or too sticky? That fudge judge was a strange fudge judge. Oh, how the gerbils would like to be fudge judges. Let us help, all the gerbils cried. Yes, we'll help. We'll taste the fudge. Give us some of the fudge. The little gerbils, almost overcome with hunger now and desire for the beautiful fudge, were, I'm sorry to say, quite rude. Stepping on each other, pushing and shoving, reaching and falling, just to buy a piece of fudge. Well, it was really disgraceful. The fudge man said, you may have just one piece each. Here is fudge for you and a piece for you, a nice piece of carob fudge for you. Each gerbil got just one piece of fudge. What about George gerbil? How could anyone be so patient? Would George Gerbil miss the fudge because he had stood back politely? The fudge man looked at George Gerbil. Whoop, wrong side. And for you, George Gerbil, a special reward. You are, without a doubt, the most patient Gerbil I have ever seen. I am sure you like fudge, and I want to give you a piece of each kind of fudge. He reached in the truck. Here's a large piece of carob fudge, a large piece of white fudge, a large piece of caramel fudge, oh, and a large piece of peanut butter fudge too. All for you, George Gerbil. He handed those four large pieces of fudge to George Gerbil. Wasn't it a good idea to be patient, as George Gerbil was, and not pushy? It certainly was. George Gerbil got four, one, two, three, four large pieces. 
instead of one small one. What was even nicer was that when it was time for a new fudge judge to get chosen, guess who got the job? That's right, George Gerbil, that's who. He was one happy gerbil. If you think George Gerbil frowned and said, too sweet, too soft, too sticky, too hard, then you are quite mistaken. Every time George Gerbil tried a piece of fudge, his eyes lighted up, a happy smile came over his face, and he said, oh, delicious. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, what wonderful fudge. Yes, I believe that George Gerbil was the best fudge judge that has ever been. And it all happened because George Gerbil was patient and he didn't complain. George Gerbil just stood quietly without budging until it was time for him to get a piece of fudge. Wow, I think we could learn something really valuable from George Gerbil, don't you? Let's be patient like him and stand back and wait. And we'll get a good reward, I think. God bless you.